thank you all so much for joining me here guys this is going to be your daily reading scorpio sun moon rising and venus signs can watch it and if you're a cross watcher you're most welcome you this reading will resonate for you also and uh, today guys i'm going to give you a direct channeled message from the archangel raphael it is going to be a love message or a love letter this person has for you guys so please keep watching or go to the description box if you just want to watch that love letter or a love message this person has for you guys right uh, now i will be starting off with the general energy check for the day guys let us see what is coming up for you scorpios sun moon rising and venus signs for your general energies and for your love energies what is coming up for your general energy signs and also make sure to like comment and subscribe to support me guys i would really appreciate that and it means a lot if you support me general energies for the day what is coming up wow we have glamour interview and drama so there is going to be a lot of dramatic situations in your life i mean you're going to push yourselves into a dramatic situation I also see a lot of drama in your life. It can be a drama caused by others or for a few of you, this can be a drama that is going to be caused by you guys. People are going to view you as a very glamorous, as a person who knows how to dress up, a person who knows how to present herself or himself. We have healing from a heartache. So also some of you Scorpios were very, very much hurt that you do not want to go to the same person again. You very hurt that you feel like you need some healing. So maybe if you, if you are taking a Reiki healing sessions or you are healing with your crystals around you, developing that self-love, that self-healing is what I can say. And a few of you guys who are not into all of this, you might be healing in a very different way. Maybe staying indoors or you're doing something that helps you to heal. Some of you might just avoid this feeling, might stop talking about this person. But definitely guys, you're doing something that is healing, that is uh, trying to heal yourself. Or you are going to heal yourself no matter what kind of drama is going to occur for you guys today. But I also see here guys that... Uh, this drama is going to be brought by you and you are going to uh, be like the spotlight you're going to bring the drama you're going to heal from the drama i don't see anybody else stepping in it's just you guys trying to bring in stuff and trying to heal from stuff and uh, yes yeah, so mend the broken heart fairy so you're going to mend the broken heart or somebody even might be coming inside your life to mend a broken heart for you guys especially if you guys are suffering from a heartbreak i see that also for a few of you that you might find your person uh, not communicating you might find your person a little bit distant from you scorpios or you feel like someone around you is very distant like you thought this person will stay always with you like somebody can be your best friend it can be somebody who you thought will stay with you for a long time but then this person is stopped communicating with you they uh, barely care about where you are what you're doing right now and this might really put you into a very negative situation. This might put you into a very bad mindset is what I can see. My beautiful Scorpios, let us see what else is coming up for you guys. We have the Knight of Wands, beautiful. There is something better for you out there and the scorpios if you guys have any kind of doubts on some person 
I think that all of your doubts are going to become very clear. You're going to understand why you actually doubted on this person. And you're going to understand what is the truth behind the actual lies and the actual fake promises, the deception this person gave you. So you're going to find the actual truth in the situation and below the stack. Um, yes guys and you're also going to find the place where there are people who actually love you who actually give you that true love a true connection and you're going to find the difference between the people who actually don't love you who actually are trying to pull you down and the people that who really love you so scorpius if you were doubting someone you were absolutely right because this person was cheating on you they were putting on an, uh, like a face, like a face mask as if they were all good. But like when you took away the mask, you could see the true colors of this person. So the true colors are showing out and you're finding out with yourself, with your own intuition. Or this could have taken a lot of effort, Scorpios, to find out what this person's all about but uh, i see that this was worth it right and uh, this someone new is coming your way guys this person really feels a strong bond with you they feel a connection with you and scorpios if you even if all of this happening you still want to find out how this person feels about you maybe there's still chance that this person's changed maybe their inner conscience is still changing who knows this person can become a changed version of themselves like they might change them from what they are right now they might completely change who knows guys so if you want to check out please keep watching go to the description and choose message from your person reading and also guys i will be coming live and i will be giving all a free reading a free reading in my life i will answer one of your questions for free and all the details of the live is there later so please go to the description, choose the timestamp of the live reading update and say that guys. See you all tomorrow Scorpios. Bye Scorpios. Hi guys. So this is going to be a love letter or a message this person has for you guys especially if you are dealing with this person and if they are far away from you and you're wondering what is going on in their mind do they love you do they still care or if you have a crush on somebody and if you want to know if they love you let us find out how is this person thinking what is going on inside of their mind right uh, whether or why are they doing the stuff they are doing especially if this person is ignoring you if they're not uh, very willingly accepting the feelings for you let us see what is going on with this person's situation guys i will just be channeling the messages this person has for you guys from the spirit guides and angels the spirit guide i'm connecting with is the angel raphael today and yes it is the archangel raphael so i will just be connecting with the angel and just giving you direct channeled messages of what this person wants to tell you right i'm using some tarot cards and some oracle message cards to connect okay guys let's let me start off uh, with this message my beloved i don't know what has gotten into me I'm not all right with how I'm feeling right now. I'm feeling sick. I sometimes look at our pictures. I cry. I really don't know what to do without you. I, I have been very shady towards you. I've been uh, very, very ignorant about how you feel i really feel bad for uh, doing whatever i did to you i really don't know how to apologize because apology feels very lame and it doesn't count up or it doesn't add up to whatever i did to you i have two options in my life 
and I am kind of juggling between the two options. I do not know what to do, do. I do not know what to choose and I feel my life has uh, become really different right now than how it was before. It has become very complicated and I would wish to take that risk with you. There are certain people who want to separate us as usual but I'm never going to give up on us. I don't think I'm going to give up on us. I'm ready to take any kind of risk to have this union with you. I'm ready to take any kind of risk to have this uh, relationship with you. Picking up more cards, guys. <coughs> I know we were at a situation where we both didn't understand each other. But the minute you left me, I was looking at you from the minute you left me. I was seeing your social media. I was checking out your pictures. There is not one day I went without looking at your beautiful face or looking at your handsome face. I don't know how I'm going to live life without you. I'm always looking at you even now. Wow, this is beautiful. Let me pick out a few more cards, guys. I'm in a lot of thoughts right now. Things are confusing me a lot. People are confusing me a lot. There are so many people around me who is uh, making this uh, very tough task to come towards you. I do have a lot of abandonment issues. I do have a lot of things going on in my life, financially, emotionally, family-wise. And uh, thinking about you is making my head spin crazy. The thought about you kind of clears out and makes me relax myself when I'm at a very, very bad situation. Your voice kind of lingers, your presence, your soul, everything that you do, everything that I see you do makes me crazy. I know that we are far away from each other, but I want to communicate. I want this conversation. I was very egoistic before. I didn't treat you right. I was egoistic. And I also tried to do certain things that you didn't like me to do. Or I did certain things that definitely hurt you. And I do not want to hurt you anymore. I feel uh, worthless without you by my side. I feel like a completely worthless person without you. I do not know how things are going to go. I'm very confused. The only thing I know is that time will change me. I know time changes everything. I'm really hoping time to change me and to give me a new start. I think I must grow spiritually higher and learn my mistakes because I see that no matter what I do, it's you are so special and you don't have to stay with me. You will get someone who is much better. I'm not saying that I'm insecure, but I feel like you would get someone who is much better than me. Someone who would treat you just as right that I couldn't treat you okay guys enough i guess so this is what this person feels and this is what they think that is the channel the direct channel the message this person has this is the message guys and i hope this uh, reading resonated i hope the message is resonated please make sure to comment down below and let me know if this resonated guys with the uh, seven of wands how this person feels that regret their uh, feeling is uh, just so intense because they regret every single thing that they made you feel every single thing that they 
gave you they just regret everything is what i can see here with these cards and my beautiful souls thank you all so much guys keep watching if you want to know when i will be coming live and especially for those of you i will be whoever joins me in the live i will be giving you a free answer so i will reply to all of your questions i will give you all a free reading for one question and yes please make sure to like comment and subscribe if you resonated guys and also please follow me up for more updates for the next live so when i will be coming live i will let you know really soon so keep watching and i will let you know guys